Ladies and gentlemen, Tattoo Advance here, and today we are talking about the life of a pirate. Now we are expecting to see many landing locations and darker areas where pirates can go and at the same time to sell goods that could also be possibly stolen as well. In 2.5 we saw the introduction of Grim Hex. Now this is clearly not the final mechanic of a pirate zone. This is clearly Star Citizen testing it out. Now the difference between pirates and the UEE the UEE have order, laws, and also you have the added protection of the UEE as well. So if you were doing a trading run, and that trading run come under attack, and it was an automatically generated mission, the AI will generate a submission on top of that, an escort mission to escort that cargo to ensure that it didn't get stolen. And then missions, players can join in their missions, and if a player doesn't join, then obviously an AI will take that position. Obviously slightly different with the pirate side, because there's no one really protecting the pirates other than themselves. And I suppose we can expect pirates to steal from pirates. When you start playing Star Citizen for the first time, either through Squadron 42 or if you miss that part and you go straight into the Persistent Universe, become a UE member. There's a few ways you can obtain this. Firstly, you could obtain it by completing Squadron 42. Or secondly, there will be ways to do it in the Persistent Universe if you choose not to play the single player game. There is one other option as well. We do know that pirates will have the capability of buying forged documents. So I should imagine that UEE and also insurance as well can be obtained as, as a pirate. So you won't have any difficulties there. There will be a whole ecosystem for a pirate. Pirates are definitely needed in the game. There's no doubt about it. And that will consist of documentation, selling goods, different shops. There'll be huge gameplay element to being a pirate and I think it actually be pretty cool as well. Now keep in mind there will be pirate generated missions as well that you can go and do that are driven from Star Citizen. We haven't been given any details on that we'll have to wait and see later on down the line. Moving on to the ship side we've seen quite a few ships introduced into Star Citizen with the tag of being a pirate ship. That's under debate really what is a pirate ship? I would say for me a ship with a cargo hold because if you want to be moving goods or stealing something you're going to need somewhere to store it. Other than that I think you can pick any of the ships inside Star Citizen. In fact if you pick a ship that is not branded as a pirate ship sort of might be a good idea because people might not see you coming. Let me know in the comments what's your pirate ship and what you're going for. Now once you've got your ship obviously you can then start stealing, smuggling, all sorts of stuff you can do. But keep into consideration, it's not going to be easy if you think about it this way. There's a two ways you can steal what they have. They can either eject the cargo, so you can take it, either by hailing them and asking them to drop the cargo. Secondly to that, which is obviously a lot more dangerous, and that is boarding. And the reason why is because if your boarding attempt goes wrong, then you leave your pirate ship behind for the person that you're actually boarding. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be easy as it looks. You have to be pretty confident that you're going to be successful with that boarding. Otherwise, yeah, could go horribly wrong for you. My suggestion would be is always pick a target you know you can win with. And the final thing on the agenda is to keep in mind, whilst there is no laws for a pirate, there are organisations out there that solely focus on being pirates. So as much as the non-pirates have the UEE, maybe for structure and law, and, and also they have their organisations, the pirate organisations that exist inside of Star Citizen, I imagine, will be organised. So there will be some really cool gameplay, particularly if you work in a group of people, to take down a ship and steal the goods. Now, regardless if you're choosing to be a pirate or not, you should definitely take note or take interest and maybe even try it yourself in-game. And if you're inside an organisation where they don't accept piracy, there is always another option. You could also purchase a second account and use that count for different types of gameplay so it doesn't affect your main character. And the final thing on the agenda today, guys, I do post the odd bits of bobs on my uh, Facebook page, so uh, check out the link in the description. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.